Today's project starts with a piece of one inch by six inch aluminum bar tucked in the mill and just uh, finished off those two edges there. This is going to be a, a T-slot table for a small Burke mill, a Burke number four horizontal. The table that uh, comes on that mill is, <laughs> I mean it works, but it's it's small and doesn't have any uh, built-in features for running coolant. Not that, uh, not that I use coolant all the time, but when I'm squaring off steel, which is what I use that machine for the majority of the time, it would be nice to be able to drip some oil on that cut and not have to babysit it. So what you're looking at here is uh, this is a quarter inch end mill I think it's just cutting troughs on either end of the uh, of the table it'll be like drainage uh, for the coolant and then in the middle here is we're gonna have uh, three T slots run the length of the table that way I can mount the vise either way, horizontal or vertical. So on either side of those T-slots, uh, I have to have these uh, open areas. Uh, one for the, the T-slot cutter to get out, but also, uh, I guess, just for drainage. So this side here, the side on the right, that's going to be where I uh, put my drain. So I cut everything a little lower, kind of sloping towards that side. And uh, the center T-slot, you just saw it uh, cut some holes there. It's three countersunk um, Allen head screws. So it's going to hold this to the table. This T-slot cutter, uh, this is the second time it's jammed up on me on, the, on this project. It's the right width for the T-slot, for the T-nuts. Uh, I had to do two passes because it's not the right uh, height. I really think I need to get a smaller diameter cutter and use it kind of like a roughing cutter to get some of that material out of there. Because cutting T-slots with that is just a, it's a bit daunting. So if my memory serves me correctly, I think I had three thousandths difference in depth on 16 inches. It's, I can live with that, especially for what this thing does, which is mostly just squaring up stock. So here it is mounted on the, on the Burke. Um, and I got the vise mounted as well. Trying to, you can just barely see the, uh, right there, the little table that's underneath with a, a single slot in it. So then, uh, I think it's four, four inches wide, <clears throat> and the uh, the one slot I could mount the vise in one direction. But I couldn't mount it in the other direction without using the, the swivel base, which uh, 
I had to keep on there most of the time. So this thickness here, even though this plate is a one inch thick, now I don't have to run this swivel base to to uh, have the vise parallel to the spindle or the arbor. So it took up some space, but I also got rid of that uh, spacer. So I think it's about a wash. Here you can just barely see those countersunk fasteners and how the T-slots are a little lower than that side and this trough here is a little lower too I drilled a hole there for a drain well that's it thanks for watching